What's up, you guys? I'm back. This time I have a special guest, our Evolve Challenge winner first place from 2022, Irina. <laughs> Say hey hi. Hi, guys. Where are you from? I'm originally from Oregon, and then I moved on to Tennessee. So Tennessee, Knoxville, Tennessee. Shout out dance. Tennessee in the house. <laughs> she's here today to celebrate all of her hard work. We're gonna spend the whole day together. I'm sure she's gonna get sick of me, uh, but we wanted, I wanted to document this workout. She was asking for it the minute that she touched ground. So we're gonna be doing a total body hit workout. It's gonna be follow the lead. So I'll be doing the exercises. She'll be following along. It's gonna be interval training as well. I thought, why not share it with our Evolve Nation community? So you guys can train with us, whether you're at home or you're outside in a beautiful uh, setting like this. So with with no further ado, lay out your mat. We have a very sweaty hit workout ready to roll for you guys. Let's do this. <laughs> so we're gonna start with the warm up. All right, warm up we'll do without bands and then we're gonna add our resistance bands for some activation. Always start with bottom up. So we're gonna go into downward dog. Okay, walk out, stretch out your calves. If you feel a stretch in the back, that means you should stay here for like an extra 20 seconds. <laughs> Push your head in, check your chin in, good. Oh, that feels amazing. Right, you wanna push your heels down towards the mat, push your hands away from you. Come forward into a high plank, drop the knees. Then you're gonna push back into child's pose. Move from right to left. You kinda of just want, you don't wanna do a full static stretch. You're just gonna move from left to right. Keep your fingers down on the mat. You should feel your lats kind of uh, stretching out from side to side. Oh, that feels amazing. Okay, come on up. Right, you're gonna bring your, for, your right foot forward. From here, we're gonna do some spinal rotation. So you're gonna open up, come back down. Did you do it? Yeah. Oh, wow, you're fast. <laughs> All right, get, uh, get on the back toe, bring this leg back, left foot comes forward and rotate. You could drop the knee or you could stay in this position. Ooh, my back cracked, that was nice. <laughs> foot back, bring the other one forward and rotate. If you need to, you could put this knee down if you don't have it, but you have it, so you're good. All right, we're gonna do that for eight reps. Good. You always want to look in the direction that your hand is going. Oh, that feels amazing. Right? I don't know why people skip warm-ups. Like they are actually so relaxing and I really enjoy them. They're not as bad as people make them out to be. I don't dread them anymore. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do one more on the other side. Good, nice. Come down, tabletop. From here, we're going to, you're gonna bring one hand in. You don't have to entirely put your hand on the floor, but you're gonna go like that. Switch over to the other side. What we're doing, all of the exercises we're doing are dynamic, Irina. So we're not holding a pose. We're going from side to side, gotcha. right? So you're gonna go in like this gotcha. and switch on over. At times like this, I wish I had your short hair. Yes. <laughs> Good. Two. Last one. Good. From here, we're going to bring, so this is like kind of like a bird dog. You're gonna come in and out. We're doing five on each leg, okay? Make, okay. Sure, make sure you're supporting your balance. So the right foot is in dors dorsiflexion, right? You're aligned, you don't wanna lean all the way over to one side, okay? Okay. So we're, we're starting with hips are central. You're gonna tuck in your core, it's engaged. Then from here, out and in, out and in. While you're doing this, keep your stomach tight. You don't wanna arch your back. You wanna keep your stomach engaged, your core muscles. Two, one, good. Switch over, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Did you feel your core engaged in that? A little bit. Okay, I want to try. I want to try something. Yes. I want to watch you. I'm pretty sure I'm Go ahead, unaligned. Put your feet in dorsiflexion. That means flex your toes up. Okay. Other way. That's plantar. Like there that. you go. Good. Okay. That makes a huge difference. Good. Tuck in your core before you start. Go back. Okay. Good. Tuck in your core. Like I hit you. <laughs> okay. Good. Now hold that. Bring the right arm out. Left foot back. Good. Keep this engaged. Now tuck in. Five. Good. Okay. It's a whole new level. Four. Do you see that engagement? Yes. Go ahead. Three. Two. Oh, wow. One. Good. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> Good, switch over to the other side. Five. Take your time. Four. Three. Two. 
one, good. So the goal is to like, obviously you're gonna have some off centering, but as you're doing these exercises, you really wanna try to use that mind muscle connection to keep your hips centered and not tilt it too much. You did an amazing job, but thank just you. while you're training without me, think about how can I keep myself centered right. and put your attention on that. Right, thank you, I appreciate that. You're welcome. It's All a right. whole new game. It is, I'm gonna give <laughs> when you- When it's done properly. I'm gonna give you a whole bunch of tips so that when you're training, like you're you're moving and you're flowing with a lot of intention and, and correct Perfect, form. I'll take all of them. <laughs> thank you, Heba. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, so next we're gonna go into circles. This is one of my favorites. Since you love running, you could do this one. We're gonna go into uh, 10 this direction and then 10 backwards, okay? okay? So again, before we even start, feet are planted, stomach is tight. We're gonna try not to lean too much and then open the leg around, right? You're bringing the leg around. Good, good, there you go, you got it perfect. Perfect. Six, seven, eight nine ten good reverse that good it's gonna feel a little awkward but you got it good nine eight seven six five four three two one good now just do that on the other side i'm gonna come watch you I already feel the burn and it, are you sure this is a warm-up <laughs> this is the warm-up yeah <laughs> you want to oh. separate your knees a little bit more give yourself a wider stance so you have a little more balance there you okay. go Go ahead. Good. Good. Something popping. <laughs> like painfully or? No, 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 no. It's just probably my knee. 10, good. So you are tight around your glutes. Keep going, one more. Good, now rotate. Opposite direction. And word and out, good. Good. You're tighter on this side. Yeah. Am straighten I? up, straighten up. Woo. Good, go ahead. You are tighter, but that's okay. Everyone has a tighter side. Eight. When we cool down, I'll show you some exercises. Awesome. It's from sitting down in I the know. office, I'm telling you. You're done. Nice. And skipping the warm ups for sure. Nice job. All right, now, next ones we're going to do are, are going to be standing. That was so, amazing. You like that? <laughs> nice. Yeah. All right. Thank you. There's more that we could do for activation, but this is just a primary one because whenever I'm doing HIT, the most important thing I think about is getting my hips fluid. Like I, I, I want to be able to move all planes in motion without feeling stiff. So doing exercises for the hips specifically do that. So what we're going to do is start from back here. This one's targeting the hamstrings. Think of like scooping from the ground. We're going to do one, walk a step, two, walk a step, three, turn around. Let me do it again. Nice, go again, make smaller steps, good. Do you feel it in the back of your hamstrings? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Woo! You got it, good. Irina's getting old. You got this, good, <laughs> good. So basically you're just going down, you wanna keep your toe up so that you get the hamstring. One, take your time, small steps. Two, three. I'm feeling in my calves. Good, well. yeah, exactly. That's an awesome stretch. Five, it's coming from my track. Six, seven. Ooh, that felt good. That feels good. Yeah, my left side is definitely tighter. <laughs> okay, next we'll do hamstring kicks. I typically walk with this, but we could do it standing, okay? Right, left, right, left. Good, keep the core tight, always. Before you start an exercise, just think about is my core engaged right now? Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, done. Okay, next one. I like to think this way like head, shoulders, knees, and toes. We're gonna do head, shoulders, knees. We're gonna go from here to here to here. So this is a three point hamstring stretch. It goes from your ankles, shoelaces, to your toes or in front of you. So I like to do heels, shoelaces, and then in front of my feet, if, I okay. could, if you could reach it, okay? So up, shoulders, knees, heels, shoelaces forward got it yeah let's do it <laughs> up shoulders knees heels shoelaces forward good up shoulders knees heels shoelaces forward nice again up shoulders knees almost touch my hips <laughs> heels toes forward up shoulders knees heels shoelaces forward last time 
up, shoulders, knees, knees, heels, shoelaces, and in front. Good. Now we're gonna start doing our clam walks, activating the sides. Do you want bands or body weight? Uh, I'll start with body weight. Okay, cool. So Just we're gonna go up. one, two, one, Two. We're only doing these for 30 seconds each just to warm up. Okay. Okay. Oh, you turned on your watch. I didn't turn mine on. Uh, I don't think I think I think I forgot. Let's did do you? it together. All right. Let's do it together. We're gonna do it. Wait. Oh, oh wait, I already did it. it. You have to cancel yours. I'll You're too fast cancel. for me. I mean, no, I I'm jumping too fast. Okay, let's do it. Okay, ready? No, hold on. We're doing intense, right? Yeah. Go, Eva. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> Two. One. Bye. Go. <laughs> okay, go. Two. One, two, one, two. You're taking two steps and coming down. Two, 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 two. Keep going. We got 15 seconds. Good, drop your hips. Nice. Five, four, three, two. Last one. Nice job, good. That was awesome. Uh, you're lucky I didn't bring the jump rope. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she, she says it's just a warm up, you guys. <laughs> no, we have one more. That's it. We have one more for the warm up. That's it. Let's do it. You get a little dizzy, right? No, not okay. yet. You will, though, because the heat does that. Yeah, it's, it's warm, but it's. Whew. All right. We're going to get started with our resistance bands. All right, so we're starting with the first circuit. There's gonna be five exercises that we're gonna do back to back with a 10 second break, 20 seconds if it's a high intensity jumping exercise. And then we're, after this circuit, we'll take a two minute break, reset up, and then go into the next five exercise circuit. In this circuit, we're gonna be targeting core, upper body, lower body, total body. If there's any exercise you can't do, uh, you can just modify it by keeping your feet on the ground and not jumping. And I'll give that example once we get to that exercise. So I always love to start with the strength exercise. We're gonna be doing Doing, uh, stationary dynamic lunges so we're gonna go forward bring it back if you can bring your knee up okay okay so back down knee up if you can't you could just step there you go you can just step your knee uh, your foot back to the original position that you started with four five good amazing form amazing form six seven eight nine ten good switch over nice job that was really good <laughs> go ahead one two use your arms to create that momentum four good five six seven eight nine Nice job. I always like, want to do more. You always want to do more. You're used to those reps. How did that feel? That was amazing. Felt good, right? That felt good. Good. Uh oh. Here we go. These are <laughs> the strongest lovely. resistance bands ever. If you have them, use them. If you don't, I'm sorry. You're missing out on that extra resistance. All right, we're going to put this around the knees. Would you show me a proper placement? Because I always put it right around, but sometimes it's like cutting into your circulation well, right so it depends when it comes to resistance bands if the band is very strong like this one is and you don't have the strength to do full range you're going to want to bring it up so the higher the band goes up the, the easier. easier it is okay right? so the position you have right now is fine but you have to in your head don't let your knees cave in gotcha your knees are naturally going to want to go like that you got to keep pushing them out gotcha okay if it gets too too difficult and i mean like you're not you can't do correct form you pull it up okay yeah so i don't want to <laughs> get another injury here okay so what we're going to do we're going to do one two one two jump okay okay ready 30 yes. seconds and go one two one two go one two one two go one two one two good keep those hips low keep those hips low Up, make sure you're breathing. One, two, one, two. Ten more seconds, keep going. One, two, get lower. One, <laughs> two, and jump. She's watching. One, two, one, two, and up. Good. That one was a killer. So I want to show you something. I know you're out of breath, okay? But when you come down, right? And it's always with the intention. If your knees are in like this. Were they like that? No, they weren't. Okay. But at some point they will be. Uh-huh. Okay? You have to look for that. Like when you're driving, 
You always want to drive defensively. Is this person going to cut in? Is Try. It... Think about your knees. They're going to want to naturally come in. So keep them out and push off this leg. Push. Then from here, push with the left. Push with the left. You're working each side equally with that mind awesome. muscle connection, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Next, we're going down. Rest period's done. <laughs> All right, we're going to do tempo push ups. You can do it from your feet or on your knees. I'm going to start with the knees, okay? So it's going to go down three seconds, hold for one, come up. Not fast, but not slow, okay? So three, two, one, hold up. Three, two, one, hold up. Hold it for a second. Three, two, one, hold up. Down. Three, two, one, hold up. Again, three, two, one, hold up. Hold that, just say one Mississippi, all right? Three, two, one, one Mississippi, up. Again, three, two, one, one Mississippi, up. Last one, one, two, three, one Mississippi, up. Good, from Ooh. here, this is still one exercise, okay? From here, we're going to step out, step out, come back, push back. Okay? Did you see that? Step out, step out, push back. Got it. Ready? Ready. Yes. <laughs> yes. And go. Step out, step out, push back. Step out, step out, push back. Step out, step out. Nice, Irina. Good. Keep Woo! that core engaged. Keep that core engaged. This is all fun in your head. This is fun. This is challenging. You got this. Back. Nice. Less than 15 seconds. <laughs> back. Less than 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Woohoo! Crazy with the band, right? <laughs> it's, yeah, just killing me, you guys. It's definitely a whole new level with the band. It's being able to manipulate tempo, meaning the speed of your rep, and adding resistance. Whether you're at the beach, you're adding resistance. You're using resistance bands, you're adding resistance. And so, don't let the idea of not having weight, not being in a gym setting, hold you back from having a very effective strength hit training session. You could do that from just about anywhere. What did you think of the tempo push-ups? Push-ups, well, they're awesome, they're amazing. Yeah? I like doing them from my knees because push-ups are my weakest. Weakest point? <laughs> weakest point. I didn't tell you that. You didn't tell me that. <laughs> I didn't hear that. Okay, ready? So we're gonna go down and work the core and shoulders and legs. So this combo, three exercise combo, we're going from a plank, tap, tap, commando, walk back, Squat jump. Yes. Okay, boy. Do you remember the Evolve Challenge? I remember, well, let's do it. Here we go, this is all of it put into one. I'm down for it. Okay. Plank, hand out, hand out, commando. Good, crawl back, squat jump, down. Plank, tap, tap, commando. Crawl back, jump, good. Now that you got it, right, focus on your form. Step out, step out, core is braced, crawl it back. Jump, look at me, jump with the knees out. Push the knees out, jump from that position, okay? Okay. Jump, good, woo, good. Crawl out, plank position, hand out, hand out, commando, crawl back, good. Keep going. Plank, tap, tap, commando. Roll it back, woo. jump, we're gonna do one more because we stopped on the other one. Commando, tap, tap, commando, crawl back, squat jump. Nice job, good. Wow, that was awesome. So I'm getting dizzy. Whenever you get dizzy, bring yourself down, okay? Hold your position, take five deep breaths. Usually you wanna put your hands over your head, but sometimes people feel so dizzy that I suggest they come down, they ground themselves. Breathe in, breathe out. Oh, in, that's good. out. Go for five breaths. Try to slow down your breathing and then slowly come on up. Open your eyes, slowly, slowly come on up so that you don't get dizzy. From here, we're in our headspace. we're getting back into it. Now, what I love to do, you're still gonna be a little dizzy. You have to understand your blood is rushing from your head to your toes, completely normal. All right, you're gonna squat. Instead of doing an explosive one, we're gonna go into a tempo. I'll show from the side. From here, we're gonna push out. Okay, we're gonna push out for 15 and then we're gonna squat for 15. Okay. Okay. Got it. Ready, set. Can you watch my, sorry. Can yeah, you, yeah, go ahead, can go you ahead. check my, um, go ahead. Cause squats are something I'm working on. All right, go a little wider. Good. Do good. I go lower? That's good. Well, you don't want the butt wink, right? The minute your butt starts to okay. wink, do you know what a butt wink is? That's the problem. When I'm trying to work those muscles, I always, these are taking over. 
and that's totally fine, right? So that's why I always say, imagine there's a piece of paper under your feet and you wanna rip the paper apart, right? What are you gonna okay. do? You're gonna press into the floor and you're gonna externally rotate those knees, right? Got it. Now squat down. Good, again. Right there, that's your spot right now. You have to work on mobility. Okay, now from here, push out. Two, three, keep your toes on the ground. Four, five, <laughs> six, challenging, right? Yeah, Eight, it's good, you guys. 10, five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Okay, good, now turn your toes out a bit. Pulse, 14, 13, 12, Woo! 11, 10. You can do it, you can do it. I better Seven. get the Kim Kardashian butt after Five. this workout. Well, you're gonna have a better butt because that's not even real. Two, <laughs> one, done. Come on up. Woo! That's you get, how you get it. That's what I'm talking about. If you get dizzy, it's fine.